Hello everyone, my name is Saksham Dikshit and this is my channel Pentest Diaries. So today I will give you a walkthrough of one of the machine of Wellhub and this machine is retiring on 21st October 2021 and the name of the machine is Empire uh, Lupinone. So this machine I will try to get it solved in this video itself, what are the steps we are taking it to get it compromised. So let me go to my system now and to like explain you how to get it compromised this machine. So before proceeding further in this video, so first of all, I like to uh, show you this is a one hub machine which you which you are just trying to now get it solved. So the name of the machine is Empire Lupinone. Okay, and this machine is uh, published by one hub in 21st September 2021. And you can get it download the image from here itself and you can import on your virtual machine and then we'll proceed further with that. And this is my technical blog where you can get all the write-ups which I published it so far from my site. Okay. And other than that, this is my technical channel where you can see all the write-ups which I'll publish it from my site. Okay. You can visit it. You can see that. Now we'll proceed further for the machine. So what we have to do first. So the thing after downloading it from the world hub, you simply have to get an import on your virtual machine or virtual works, whatever that um, uh, virtual. I can say that our solution you're using it you just have to import that image directly I have I'm using the VMV so that was the reason I have imported over here itself and you can see the IP address which we are getting it from the DSCP section once we're done with that we simply have to run the net discover just to identify that IP as it just to get it check whether we can able to discover that IP address over here or not we'll just wait for the output for it so I can able to see the output and it's 133 now what i have to do i'll simply have to run uh, hyphen a and that for the ip address we'll just wait for the output so now over here we can see uh, port 22 and port 80 are the only two ports we can which we can see it for the target machine now what we have to do now okay so the next step it for it um, one more thing which we have figured out over here it's this one okay so what we have to do we just simply have to go to the browser and let me type the IP address is 192.168.8.133 and that's it let me try to get it access and I'm seeing the error 404 so this is not working for me so what exit is the next step for it let me try for the source code to get it access and you can see over here uh, you can do it keep trying okay that's a hint so what we have to do, we just do the fuzzing from our side just to figure out is there any other way which we can figure out a subsection for it. So let me run this command. Let me clear it. Let me run this command. And you just simply have to use the word list and that one fuzzing. Okay. Once we run with that, we can able to identify a secret. Okay. So now what I'll do, I'll just try to get it access this one. I'll go to the browser once again, try to get it access this and over here i can able to see your best friend is icex64 so it looks like a username and um, hello friend i'm happy that you have found my secret directory i create like that to share with you create ssh private key so it just look like we have to uh, we have to get it download this and even the, for cracking that um, it was mentioned a fast strike is one of the world is which we have to use it so that's also one other thing you have to do it Okay, so next what we have to do, we'll simply have to fuzz it now for the secret dot secret and let me see like anything I can get it out of it or not. So I'll just simply trying with this access. It's the same word list which are using just, just to go and be a customized one and along with that, I just have to use a secret subsection for it and the fuzzing now for it. Uh, let me wait for the output. I think we'll get the output in a minute. So I have run it and I'm getting the output over here and you can see that it's look like one of the file which the name is mysecret.txt now let me try to get it access that also. So I'll just go to the browser once again try to get it access this and I can get some output okay. And uh, once I try to figure out this content it's look like uh, it's base 58 okay. So what I'll do I'll just go to. Uh, this section to decode it we'll just want to decode it so i'll just go to this browser to decode it let me try to get it copy the content i'll paste it over here okay and then i'll click on base 58 to decode it so it's look like a private 
private key we are getting it over here so let me copy that i'll copy it already from my uh, from this end itself okay so what i'll do now uh, i'll simply make ssh key and paste my content i have already pasted over here so there is no need to make it that once again once you're done with that what else we have to do it now uh, we'll try to make this using the SSH key. We'll try to make it a hash out of it. So I'll just use SSH to join. Uh, this is the package I'm using it. And by this, through my SSH key, I'll just make it a hash. Once I'm done with that, and I have already downloaded the fasttrack.txt file. It's a word disk I've already downloaded on my system. You can figure out. And once you get a download, you simply have to run with uh, with a combination of a hash, and you can able to crack it. In my case, I've already cracked it, so that was a reason. Uh, let me run this, okay? Hash, and I can able to see the password. As I already run it, so that was the reason. It's not allow me to run it once again. Once we run with that, we'll get the password. This is the password. Now, what we have to do? So as you can uh, recall it uh, in the initial phase when we try to get it access uh, uh, We'll just try to access the browser and at that time we'll just get the output in such a way So as we can see the username over here itself So we'll simply have to use the username over there just to get it connected. So what's my command over here? You can see this Okay, so I'll just use the same username and the target IP address and this SSH key. Okay, and that's it we'll just try to get it login and by this we'll just try to use the password which we are getting it i'll try to put that password and i'm in okay once we inside of it what's the next step for it we can able to see the i think we are where exactly we are okay perfect so i'll use this user.txt and i can able to get the initial flag that's a user.txt flag okay so now what's the next step for it so now instead of proceeding further with that let me run sudo hyphen l and by that way i just came to know about it this file okay okay so what's the content of that file let me try to get uh, retrieve the content of that file oh shit <laughs> it's not looks like appropriate uh i'm not sure what exactly the problem is it uh, okay, okay, okay. So we'll just try to access this in such a way. Okay, perfect. So it's look like a web browser is one of the packages using over here. It's not ready to get it in action. Web browser dot open and this. Okay, what else we have to do it? That's one of the thing. So we'll just try to figure out the way. Like even in my case, like if you if you're not getting it directly over here itself, you just run the linpeas also, which I'll explain in my write-up. You can download that, run that also. That's also one of the possibility for it. But as I'm getting that directly, so that was one of the things. So uh, we'll try to figure out the way also, and the thing like you can get the package complete path. What else we have to do it? So now we'll just go to the temp folder and uh, when i'll go to the temp folder i'll just try to get it access this file so let me try to get it access the content of this file which we like uh, which belongs to the package itself so this is the package content okay this is the package content so it's a by default one which you're getting it uh, when you're trying to get it accesses it's a package so that was a reason it's a default content but there's a catch over here which i did it from my side I'll try to open this same file with a nano command and I'll put this line inside of it. Once we're done with that, what we have to do, we'll simply have to run this uh, file once again, okay, with the username Arsena and let me run with that. Once we run with that, we become Arsena, okay, and as we are inside of it, now let me run sudo hyphen l once again and I can see it's a pip. Pip we have to use, uh, so there is one of the catch for it i have just figured out one of the url by which we can get all the path for it so you can follow this one to privilege it to gain the privilege right so this is these are the commands you have to get it fired directly so let me go back to this section once again and what i'll do i'll simply have to run these commands which i am firing it now you simply have to run that okay first command 
these commands you can get it directly from the portal itself that was the reason i'm not explaining it again and again you simply have to run once you execute the same package to be get it executed like these are the package which we are trying to get it created when we trying to get it executed we become the root so once we become the root we just go inside the root directory and we'll try to get it access the root oh sorry root flag and we can able to see the root flag okay so what exactly the thing i'll just ex uh, give you some tip once again of the same machine So initially we just simply run the nmap map and once we run with it we just come to know like port 22 and port 80 is enabled. We'll just start with port 80 first and we'll just came to know like uh, uh, it's look like uh, we are getting a dead end. It's 404. Then we'll just fuzzing it. We'll just get one of the subsection for there's a secret. We'll just figure out that uh, once we try to open the um, we'll just fuzz it once again. Then we'll just get one of the txt file. We'll try to get it access that by that we are getting a username. Uh, then proceeding further with that itself, like um, the um, uh, in that fuzzing concept itself, we are just getting uh, one of the file content. We are getting it, and it's in a base 58 uh, content. I can say that we have to decode it and we get the private key. Uh, we'll get the private key, but unfortunately, we have to crack that just to get the password out of it. And as a, as a hint is mentioned over there in my secret, so that was the reason we just proceed further with that only. Use the fast track as a word list, and we get the password. Once we get the password, we use the same private key and target it. We can get it login instead of it. Once we run with the sudo hyphen, uh, like by that way, we can get the user flag, initial flag for it. Once we get with that, we'll just proceed further and. Uh, I can say that um, over there, sudo hyphen l will just run it, and we just came to know like um, there is a file, uh, Python file is present, and using a web browser is one of the package for it. So we we'll just try to get it access the web browser package. Okay, when we trying to get it access, we just trying to like we have the right, so we have to modify that content and put it our one liner inside of it just to get the bash of it. Uh, so once I execute that content with a user uh, Arsena, then auto automatically we just switch. From our current user to the Arsena. Once we go over there itself, we'll just run the sudo hyphen l once again, and we just came to know like using the pip command, we can get the root privileges. So there is a URL present over there. There are three commands we have to get it triggered. We trying to create one package, and we just trying to get it execute that malicious con uh, package along with the pip. Once we get it executed, we become the root. And once we go inside of the root directory, we can able to see the root flag. That's all about the stuff we just want to get it covered in this video. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video, please subscribe my channel. If you like to connect me, you can connect me directly on LinkedIn. The LinkedIn profile link I'll provide in the description section of this video. So thank you so much once again. Take care. Bye bye.